These protests once felt alien on the streets of Iran, but since they began back in September, they are now the norm. In Zahidan in the east yesterday, they chanted down with the Ayatollah. What were once protests against hijab laws after the death of Masa Amini in police custody are now the most sustained anti-regime protests ever seen since the founding of the Islamic Republic. And authorities are accused of responding with ever more brutal measures. This is 18-year-old Parsa Gobadi. After protesting in Kermanshah in the west, he was shot and lost his sight in both eyes. A letter from 140 ophthalmologists said hundreds have been blinded by security forces and the families of the victims say this is a tactic. Do you think that they deliberately targeted your brother's eyes? It's definitely true. What could they have targeted? They could have shot in the air, on the ground or directly toward the people. They could even have targeted the legs of the protesters, not specifically their faces and eyes. How do you and your family and your brother feel now? Are you more scared or do you feel you still want to protest and speak out? My brother is asking us to continue to be his voice and prevent these atrocities from being repeated again because a young man's life has been ruined. Iran's Security Council today said 200 people had lost their lives since the protest began. But human rights groups say the figure is at least double that, with thousands more injured. Amnesty International said at least 28 people could face execution, with at least six already sentenced to death in sham trials. It seems that this barrier of fear that the authorities have been ruling on so many years, it has fallen apart. And what they are doing now is by using violence, by these sham trials on the TV, uh, threat to death penalty, you're hoping to rebuild this barrier of fear, but so far they haven't managed to do that. Celebrations on the streets earlier this week during the World Cup. Not after the national team won, but because they lost to the United States and crashed out of the tournament. Ignore FIFA's messaging, in Iran football is political, and this is dazzling dissent. Because for those against the regime, the fact that the football team met with President Raisi before they flew to Qatar was a betrayal. And while they didn't sing the national anthem in their first game, many felt the players didn't do enough to make use of the world stage to raise awareness. Others did in Qatar. This man was wrestled to the ground by police while wearing a t-shirt that said, Women, Life, Freedom, the main protest slogan. But the retaliation back home is different and deadlier. This was the memorial for 27-year-old Mehran Samak. He was reportedly shot dead for beeping his car horn to celebrate Iran's loss in the World Cup. There's a phrase that football was not a matter of life or death, it's more important than that. In Iran, that is tragically, devastatingly true. And today is the famous rapper Tumaj Salehi's birthday, which he will celebrate in prison with the prospect of facing the death penalty, simply for supporting all of these protests. A video was released today to mark his birthday, a defiant message amidst the crackdown. You may take away our sight, but our mouths cannot be silenced. Well, I'm joined now by Iranian lawyer and human rights activist Shadi Sadr. Thank you so much for coming in. Are you surprised that people are still protesting? Um, I'm not surprised because I think the death of Mahsa Amini uh, was a tipping point for many Iranians to say enough is enough. Um, it, uh, uh, so the, the, the protest started with the, and still continued with the slogan of woman life uh, freedom, uh, but it was clear since the beginning that it's uh, an anti-regime protest, so it will not achieve its goals until the regime is uh, um, uh, overthrown. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the protesters and um, as they call themselves uh, this, these protests as a revolution uh, they uh, are determined to just uh, 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 to, to just uh, end this uh, regime uh, whatever it takes but this isn't one cohesive force organizing it it seems people are going 
to the streets for different reasons, right? There's some people who are protesting for women's rights, others more economic. What, can you give us an idea of why people are going out? Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, obvious for everyone that uh, uh, women's rights and human rights and democracy cannot be achieved under a theocracy. This is what uh, all of these people are united uh, around this. And if you look at uh, the, uh, the protest, this revolution, you can see that it's not a race. It's uh, a, a relay. So uh, different groups uh, passes on, pass on uh, the battle uh, to, uh, to the other group. So it started mainly with young women and then young men. And uh, then the uh, older generation uh, joined. And then it's, uh, university students, school children, artists. And now you can see the uh, truck drivers. Uh, they started a nationwide protest last week. And uh, so they, they are now having a greater role. Why? The other groups may, uh, may be uh, recovering uh, from the crackdown. But the, the main uh, issue at the moment is that these empty handed protesters are uh, in, a, in a very unjust battle with a, a regime that has got one of the most sophisticated security forces in the region. So this unjust battle cannot uh, be won until and unless the global community recognizes uh, the Iranian people's right of mm. self-determination. Well, the Iranian, and, the and Iranian and government says this is, this is being stirred up by foreign powers, these people are rioters. How would you respond to that? No, th this is just a, 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 an organic uh, uh, protest that the Iranian uh, government has not has refused to respond to their grievances mm. uh, uh, and they, they haven't responded they haven't provided any response other than bullets uh, mass arrests tortures and other techniques of suppression so the ignorance of the main issue here which is the lack of democracy lack of respect for human rights uh, still a driving point for the protest and not uh, the foreign uh, uh, forces outside mm. the country very quickly, just on football, it's divided people. There are some people who said, get behind the team, even if they don't agree with the government. Others we saw um, were celebrating America winning. Uh, how did you feel? Um, I think even those who, uh, 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 who were telling that we should support the team were actually mindful of uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the coercion and the, like, the, the techniques that the regime uh, used to, to just force the, uh, uh, the national team to, to come to the, the, the field uh, that day. Okay, Shadi Sadr, thank you very much for coming in.